National League South, week one score predictions. Let's do it. Yes, it is Wednesday, August 2nd. The season starts Saturday, August 5th. We are just days away from the league starting. And I thought, why not start a new series where we predict the National League South score predictions? Because from what I can see, there's no one else doing it on YouTube at the moment. If you do enjoy this video, then I'd much appreciate you pressing the like button down below. If this video gets just 10 likes, just 10 likes, I will make sure to do it next week as well. And hopefully ongoing for the rest of the season. And if you are new around here, please make sure to click that subscribe button too it really means a lot to me but without further ado let's get into these score predictions first up we have chelmsford city taking on farnborough chelmsford are a team that i'm expecting big things from this season with a few good signings including samir carruthers who got team of the season for dartford last year very good technical midfielder. Chelmsford are at home. Farnborough, I am definitely expecting them to build on their last season too. They had a pretty good mid-table finish last year. Um, have acquired a few very good players. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have a good season too. But for first day of the season, Chelmsford City at home. I'm going to have to go for a 2-1 Chelmsford win. Next up, Chippenham Town versus Averley FC. One I'm really excited for. This should be a really, really good game. Uh, it's being played at Chippenham Town. Uh, Averley, obviously new boys to, uh, to the league, um, have made a few really good signings. One video I do regret slightly watching is I watched their highlights against Dulwich Hamlet um, in a pre-season friendly. Of course, some of the finishing was some of the worst I've ever seen. But considering my team, Dartford, have not won a single pre-season, I'm not even going to touch base on that. But Avely versus Chippenham um, should be a really good game. I'm actually uh, expecting quite a close encounter. So I'm going to go and bottle out on this one and go for a 1-1 one -one draw. Next up, we do have my boys in black and white, Dartford FC. I am going to travel up to watch this one. Please do let me know in the comments below uh, which games you are going to watch this weekend. I'm always very interested here. But Dartford are taking on Bath. Bath have managed to acquire quite a few uh, young new faces. I did watch them once in pre-season out at Shaftesbury, um, which was a pretty dire game. But it was the first game uh, of their pre-season nonetheless. Um, managed to keep quite a quite a good chunk of their squad, including including their top goal scorer last year, Scott Wilson. Uh, Dartford, on the other hand, have had a bit of a change around. Lost Tom Bonner, lost Connor Assam, lost Carruthers. They've had to have a big reshape, but they have managed to keep a really good strike force. Uh, centre backs uh, have completely changed, um, but nonetheless, uh, I'm I really I know it sounds very biased, but I'm just expecting to go up there and win. Um, I, I could be completely wrong, I really could be, um, but I am going to go for a 2-0 Dartford win. Dover Athletic versus Torquay United. Dover have had a really, really, really shocking pre-season, not in the sense regarding their performances, but with how the players have, uh, you know, just coaching staff, assistant manager, uh, players saying they're signing and don't sign. It's been a wacky ride at Dover and I really do feel for them. Torquay, on the other hand, um, have had an excellent pre-season, some great signings. Uh, Gary Johnson at the wheel. Um, uh, they even went to Exeter and smashed Exeter. A really, really good Exeter side, by the way. 4-1 in a pre-season game. I'm expecting big, big things from Torquay United this season. And for that reason, even though they're wayside first day of the season, I am going for a 3-0 Torquay win. Really sorry, Dover fans. Next up, we have Eastbourne Borough versus Hampton and Richmond. Hampton and Richmond will be playing lots of their first games of the season away from home due some due to uh, some ongoing developments at the stadiums um, and upgrades, which is fantastic to see. Can't wait to visit that when it's done. Nonetheless, uh, Eastbourne, I've got really, really big hopes for this season. New owners, um, you know, uh, have had a massive takeover, uh, an influx of new players. A lot of, lot of uh, inexperienced youngsters, I will say, uh, but some of them from the likes of Arsenal. You know, just some, some really good names come through the door. Hanson and Rutschman, I probably need to do a bit more research on, but I'm just expecting really, really big things from Eastbourne this year. Certainly playoffs. Uh, so I'd be stupid if I didn't go for an Eastbourne win first day of the season. Uh, I'm not going to call it uh, too crazy though. I'm going for a 1-0 Eastbourne Borough win. Next up, you have Hemel and Hempstead play new boys of the National League South, Yeovil Town, one of the full-timers in the league ahead of this season. 
uh, Yeovil, fair play to them. They've managed to uh, get the stadium segregated, which is very, very rare in National League South that the stadium gets uh, uh, segregated. That is fantastic stuff. They must be taken a really, really good away following. Very impressed. Um, so Hemel and Hampstead, um, I expect them to have a bit better of a season than they did last year. They've made a, a few really good signings. But Yeovil, I think, are just going to be too strong. I actually managed to go watch Yeovil play Newport County in a pre-season friendly of EFL League 2. And Yeovil just wiped the floor of them. It was ridiculous. As I said, I know it's pre-season. Um, I am, again, expecting big things from Yeovil Town this season. And therefore, I am definitely going for a Yeovil win. And I'm actually going to call it at a 4-1 win. Next up, Maidstone United play Slough Town. Maidstone have obviously been relegated as well as Yeovil and Torquay from the National League. Um, they should still have a good season. I do definitely expect them to make them playoff spots. Where it be, I'm not sure yet. I have read a few things online where people don't think they do quite as well as I've predicted. But obviously time will tell. Slough, I expect to have a very steady season and just be balancing above the relegation zone. So for that reason, uh, made Sun United at home at the Gallagher Stadium. I've gone for a 2-0 made Sun United win. Next up, we have St Albans City versus Weymouth. Very, very many people I've seen online have been predicting that St Albans are going to have a cracking season. They have lost a really good core of their squad though, is why uh, in my predictions video for the season I didn't put them quite in playoffs. Um, they lost their two fullbacks who were fantastic. I was so impressed by both of them when I watched them last season. Um, uh, keepers gone who was on loan I believe, uh, possibly one of the centre-backs. They've just lost a really, really good core of their squad at the back this season. Weymouth, though, have been having a shocking few seasons, relegated from the National League, and then only just surviving National League South last year on the last day of the season. Do I expect Weymouth to go and have a great season? Not particularly. Um, I think if they're lucky, they might balance around the mid-table, but I do think they'll be lower down for sure. Uh, St Albans will certainly be the top half of the table, I feel personally. For that reason, St Albans at home, I'm going for a 2-1 win. Next up, we have Taunton Town who take on Braintree Town. Braintree obviously made the playoffs last year, which I was very, very impressed with. Um, did not expect them to make it, but they did, uh, albeit they lost in the quarterfinals for the very first round uh, of the Eliminators, losing to Worthing 2-1. Nothing to be too ashamed about. Worthing were a very, very, very good outfit last year. I was very impressed with them. Do I expect Braintree to make playoffs this season? I don't. Uh, I think the league's got too strong. But nonetheless, um, I think they'll have a steady season. They go to Taunton Town, uh, who I think it's going to be a really tough, long slog of a season for them. Uh, lost centre-back to Yeovil. Uh, a couple of play other players have left the squad. I think they're a steady side. I do hope they stay in the league. But that being said, I think Braintree may come to town and just sneak all three points. Hope I'm wrong, but we'll soon see. So I'm going for a 2-1 Braintree town win. Next up, we have new boys of the league, Truro City, who were promoted via the Southern Prem um, in the playoffs. Fantastic way to do it. You can never fault that. Uh, they take on Welling United, who have had a pretty poor season, um, who are coming off the back of a pretty poor season anyway. They've had a half-decent pre-season. Not that I'm going to go off pre-season too much. But Truro, I'm really not expecting too many big things from. I have had a couple of comments in my video saying um, I don't think they'll get relegated. I'd love to see them prove me wrong. I really, really would. Um, but I'd be very surprised if they uh, you know, get anywhere near that top half. Um, that's just for me personally anyway. Um, that being said, um, uh, Truro obviously playing at Plymouth Parkway Stadium at the moment. I think Welling United may come down to Plymouth and sneak all three points. I'm going for the exact same result as I did last time with Braintree. I'm going for a 2-1 Welling United win. Last two, we have Western Supermare taking on Havant and Waterlooville. Um, this should be a pretty good game. Western Supermare automatically promoted from uh, automatically promoted from the Southern Prem. They take on Havant and Waterlooville, who had one of the worst runs of forms I've ever seen in this league. Um, uh, for someone that was so high up at, uh, at one point. Um, yeah, haven't had a really shocking end to the season. Really 
really, really shocking. Looked like they could go on to win the league or finish second or third and didn't even get close to making the playoffs. Um, Western Supermare, watched them in pre-season as well at Dorchester Town. think they're okay. None of these two sides really have amazed me in recent times. I'm just going to go safe and I'm going for a 1-1 draw. Last but not least, we have Worthing taking on Tonbridge Angels. Tonbridge obviously finishing mid-table last year. And as we discussed earlier, Worthing having a really good season, uh, making it to the playoffs, which was quite unexpected from lots and lots of people. And then getting to the semi-finals of those playoffs as well, only to lose to the winners of the competition in the end. Oxford City, so big credit to Worthing, they had a fantastic season. Uh, Tombridge could go on and do a lot better, um, that wouldn't surprise me. I think Worthing are a very, very, very difficult side to go away to, I really, really do. So I'm going to let Worthing sneak a 1-0 win. So that's all my results uh, done, dusted, predicted for game week one. Let me know what you think in the comments, would love to hear everyone's thoughts. Um, I have left in the description down below um, all the games listed so you can copy and paste it and put your predictions in if you would like to but obviously you don't have to because the main thing is football is back we are going to watch dark reverse bath the video will be up on the channel sunday or monday uh, depending on how my head feels the day after the game um, but as i say really 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 looking forward to this hope you did enjoy the video and until the next one i will see you all around bye for now Oh,